guys, I'll be posting my first ever Q&A video next week. So if you guys have any questions for me, please comment it below. Type me lang Q&A sa mi colon and then your question. Kasi lagi kong sinasabot yung mga questions sa comments ko. So kung gusto nyo i-deserve yung question nyo for my Q&A, yun, i-type nyo yun. You can also ask me on different social media platforms. Nasa description ko lahat yung link. And yeah, enjoy the video! Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Dora Dubid and for today's video, I will be explaining the differences between computer science, information technology, information system, and computer engineering in the simplest way possible because I know some of you guys are not familiar with the jargon. But first, I want to thank everyone for making me reach 1,100 subscribers. It went so fast because I didn't post much last week. So, I got a lot of love for it. 1,100 na. So, thank you guys and I am back. But before starting the video, disclaimer muna tayo. So, I know there are a lot of other computer-related degrees out there such as BS Software Engineering and other stuff. I will be comparing this for kasi ito yung pinaka-common na ina-offer ng different universities in the Philippines. Also, I am currently a freshman taking up computer science. So, ang pinaka-alam ko dito is tukos sa computer science. And yung mga sasabihin ko is based on what I have researched for the past few days. If you guys have any experiences in taking these degrees or if may kakilala kayo nagkakwento about them or may sarili kayong opinion about them, please comment it below. I would love to hear it. Yun lang naman yung disclaimer ko. I hope that this video will help you in choosing the right college degree to take kasi syempre iba pa rin yung job opportunities for each degree and iba pa rin yung usapang career fields. Yung usapang career fields, nandun na yung AI, cybersecurity, at iba pa. So in this video, I will be answering three questions. Number one, ano nga ba magkakaiba nila? What are their differences? Number two, what is the right college degree for you? Which is basically a conclusion of the first question. And number three, why did I take BS Computer Science? So, let's get started! So, for the first question, ang una kong gagawin is to define each course. Like, anong sakop nila or tungkol saan ba talaga yung course na yun. And then, pangalawa is to state their key differences. And then, pangatlo is sabihin sa inyo yung mga job opportunities na pwede yung makuha after graduating with that degree. So, ang una kong unayin yung Computer Science. So, ang Computer Science, ito yung broadest. Broadest meaning pinakamalawak ang sakop among the software-focused degrees. Software-focused degrees, yun yung mga courses na, yun nga, talaga nakatutok sa software, which are IS, IT, and CS. And, kasi ang Computer Engineering kasi more on hardware talaga siya. Computer Science is focused on designing methods or procedures to solve programs, and it's also focused on creating software that would push inventions or mapapaganda sa fields ng science, engineering, and business. Kumbaga, sila yung nag-answer ng why behind computer programs. So the difference between CS versus IT and IS is that CS is more theoretical, more on theory siya. Meaning, mas gusto namin malaman kami mga CS majors kung paano mabuo or kung paano nabuo ang isang program kesa kung paano ito gagamitin. I mean, Kasi ang ginagawang programs ng CS, ang gagamit naman nito ay yung mga IT and IS. Kasi IT and IS is more on the practical side naman. And then when it comes naman to computer science versus computer engineering, it's basically software versus hardware. Kasi nga, mas hardware ang computer engineering. Pagdating naman sa IT and IS, dito ako medyo nahirapan. Kaya sana naman explain ko ng maayos sa inyo. So ang IT and IS, they both deal with information. Pero ang pinagkakaiba talaga nila yung tutok nila sa aspect ng information. So, IS, it's all about managing the needs of businesses. Meaning, mas makikipag-interact ang IS majors pag graduate nila sa mga tao and sa mga iba't ibang companies. Ang IS, actually, parang combination siya ng business and IT. And parang ang tawag na iba dito is sila yung parang median, yung channel between tech-savvy people and business people. They are like the bridge between people and technology and the bridge between business and computer science. So, syempre, hindi naman lahat ng business people alam kung anong sasabihin sa tech-savvy people para mag-gets kung anong gusto manyari ng business people sa business nila. Gets nyo ba? So, like, kunyari, 
um, yung business people or businessmen nasabihin sa IS na, okay, uh, gusto ko nang ganito sa business. And then, IS being the tech-savvy one or with the team of tech-savvy people, you're going to create um, an information system like, ano ba, like payroll system, inventory system, mga ATM, na makakatulong sa business ng people. Gets nyo ba? <laughs> oh my god! Saan so, nagigets nyo? Like, nakalagay dito, information system refers to the management of an entire set of information and includes not only the technology components involved but the people and processes as well. Kumbaga, ang IS, besides learning about technology, they're also learning what type of technology to use to solve a problem ng isang business. Also, based on my research, ang IS, they have five components. Components meaning dito nakadepende yung mga IS or ito yung mga resources ng IS or basta ito yung mga parts ng IS. So, ang mga components niya ay software, hardware, database, network, and people. So, dito nakasurround yung IS. Ang information technology naman, dito papasok yung practical use talaga ng technology. Sabi dito na information technology is more on being able to conceptualize, design, and implement software applications, and being able to perform installation, operation, development, maintenance, and administration of computer application. In short, ito lang talaga yung pag-aaral, pag-design, pag-maintain, pag-support ng mga computer-based system. Information technology courses are more about learning how to take computer technology and put it to use in commercial environments. As a subset of IS, ang IT is really about helping people better utilize or better make use of information through technology. So yeah, and then lastly, computer engineering. Computer engineering naman, it's all about hardware. It's all about mastering computer components. Computer components meaning parts ng computer. But it's not limited to PC and laptops. Ha, hindi siya limited sa ganun lang. As a computer engineering major, dito niyo matututunan kung paano gumawa ng built-in computer system for cars, for airplanes, gaming consoles, and sa iba't ibang devices na ginagamit natin everyday to make our lives easier. Siyempre, dito sa computer engineering, ang focus talaga dito is to build and design more efficient and useful computers. Now, alam kong sinabi ko, puro hardware dito. Well, it is. Pero, siyempre, may onting software pa rin or may onting paggamit pa rin ng programming languages kasi, siyempre, gagawa kayo ng processors na makakapag-support sa ginagawa niyong hardware. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> sa course na to, dito papasok yung development ng microchips, circuit boards, video game cards, routers, at iba iba pa. Um, computer engineering, it is similar to electrical engineering. Actually, it works with electrical engineering kasi you're going to study the concept of mathematics, engineering, and computer science. So, ayun, na-define na sila isa-isa. I hope I wasn't too fast and I hope nakagain kayo na kahit onting basic information or basic understanding about the courses. Now, I'll move on to key differences. Key differences meaning, ito actually in conclusion ng mga sinasabi ko kanina. So, for me, ini-imagine ko siya as computer scientists are responsible for making the programs or software na ginagamit ng IS experts sa iba't ibang business. Now, ang role naman ng IT is yung mga ginagamit ng programs na ginawa ng CS for IS, sila yung mag-maintain, sila yung mag-upgrade, sila yung mag-develop ng programs na yon into something better na mas makakatulong naman sa IS experts. Now, of course, yung computer engineering, pag walang hardware, for me ha, wala rin software. So, basically, importante din talaga ang computer engineering. And of course, all of these, are not limited to that. Siyempre, iba-iba pa rin yung role ng apat na courses sa different situations in life. If hindi nyo pa rin medyo mag yung difference ng IT sa IS, may nabasa ako na IS covers the set of information as a whole. And then IT refers specifically to the technology aspect within that system. Sa usapang game dev naman, I suggest that sa university na papasukan nyo, pag walang uh, wala silang ino-offer na course or degree na nakafocus sa game dev. As the curriculum for each computer-related degree, and tignan nyo kung ano yung pinakamalapit or pinaka-inclined sa game dev. Uh, sa university kasi na pinapasukan ko, ang game dev or 
animation and game development, it's a specialization under IT. So, we're coming IT major in game dev, IT major in web and mobile. Ang specialization naman ng course ko is software engineering. So, actually, I'm taking computer science, majoring in or specializing, specializing, specializing in software engineer. So, yeah. Research pa rin sa universities na balak yung pasukan. Lastly, for the first question, I'm going to say some job opportunities you can get after graduating with each degree. And nahanap ko to sa website um, course, courses.com.ph. So, I'm going to start for CS. CS, after graduating, you can be a software engineer, a database administrator, application developer, software developer, and system analyst. For IS naman, you can be a systems developer, systems analyst, database administrator, database designer, and financial analyst or auditor. Sa IT naman, you can be a technical support specialist, network administrator, web developer, mobile applications developer, database manager, and for computer engineering naman, you can be a network systems administrator, Data Communications Engineer, Systems Engineer, Systems Developer, Systems Analyst, Systems Designer, Technical Support Engineer, and Quality Assurance Engineer. Now, ito based na to sa isang website na nabasa ko kasi complete na yung listahan niya. But, if you are interested in one career field or parang alam niya na may idea na kayo kung ano gusto yung trabaho in the future, mag-research pa rin kayo about it and still find out what is the best degree to take para makuha niyo yung path na career field ng gusto niyo. I'm now going to answer the question number two, which is, Ate Darla, ano nga bang degree ang para sa akin? If you enjoy mathematics and software design, consider taking computer science. If you enjoy installing computer system, using software, maintaining and developing database and networks, Go to IT. If you like the use of computers as a tool in different areas from business to government, go to IS. And if you like learning about computer components and innovating them, go to computer engineering. The last question I'm going to answer is why I took computer science. I took computer science kahit hindi talaga ako magaling sa math. It's because I like the fact na siya yung pinakamalawak ang sakop among the computer related degrees na nakafocus sa software. Meaning, I'll get to have an in-depth knowledge of technology and how to use it and how to innovate them and how to make use of new technology. And I actually like researching about them. I like researching about software and actually, I just... No I research ko yung computer science, I just fell in love with it. To be honest, at first, I was considering taking up IT kasi there's a misconception na Basta about computer, BS IT na. Buti na talaga, nag-research ako about computer science. And nung nasa entrance exam ako, nung i-check ko na yung IT, pila ko nakita yung computer science na, okay, this sounds cool. Na computer science sounds cool. Na I am Darla, I think of computer science. Okay, that's cool. Parang, ang cool niya. Ang cool niya pakinggan. Ang cool niya pakinggan. Yun. So, yun. I took computer science. Minsan, nag-regret ako na hindi ako nakapag-research before taking um, entrance exams. Kasi, ngayon ko lang actually nalaman yung mga tungkol sa magiging front-end developer, back-end developer, ganyan, I feel like I'm going to make another video specifically answering this question. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sana nakatulong to sa inyo. And please update me on what you're taking. Tara magkwentuhan tayo. I'm all free on my social media platforms. And yeah, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share this with your friends, and to hit the notification bell. And yeah, lahat na alam yun na yan. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!